Hello, it's Simcraft here, and we finished the Multiplex Fun Cup. Here we are, and we've got to the the power setup. Uh, the power setup. I'm going to explain to you now what we've got for the motor in there. It's quite a biggish motor. So at the top, you can't see it, but at the top, I've put some some lead weights because of the weight of the front to get the centre of gravity. But uh, that is actually a Turner G3542 motor. Uh, it's 1,250 kV and it, the prop, it's uh, like about, not it's about, it's exactly 10 by 6 e electric prop. So it's a 10 by 6 electric prop. We've got the motor, Turner G3542 running at uh, 1,250 kV. We've got the Turner G plush, plush, 40 amp and the maximum, where I've got a maximum power on my transmitter. It's not set up now, just checking. I thought it was going to get started. No, that's 100%. 100%. It's drawing uh, 32 amps, so it's uh, underneath that. Now I've also got. I did. It's worth um, doing a few things. Now they say for sports flying, you need for every pound you need a hundred watts to make uh, for sports flying. So if we may weigh this um, aircraft now, it's actually two pounds without the battery. But if I put the battery in, that takes it to two and a quarter pounds. Okay, if that's. Um, Two and a quarter pounds. Well, I was just um, talking about the battery. Uh, it's a Nanotech 2200 milliamp hours, 35 to 70 discharge, 70 C discharge, so it can um, uh, draw quite a lot of amps out of there, uh, well over 10 amps. Um, I can't think, I'm going to have to do a calculation on that, I forgot what the amperage was now. Uh, it's actually, well I can tell you what it charges at, it charges at 8C which is 17.6 amps, so 30, so it would actually draw well over th the 32 amps, over 40 amps, probably 50 amps. I've forgotten what the calculation was now, but I'll put that in the description below. But anyway, I've got the Nanotech uh, 2200 Turner G that pops in there. And say on off throttle, if we're going on off throttle, if we just to scoot around the sky, about there, we can run for about six and a half minutes on that. Uh, that's drawing 21 amps and that's 216 watts which is about two two and a quarter two and a quarter pounds and the aircraft is about two and a, two and a quarter pounds so at our throttle I can actually uh, use it as a sports flyer hopefully and of course if I go higher I can use it as aerobatics and do uh, loops and um, all kinds of things but on lower settings, say about a quarter, it draws about 100 to 200. Then I've got, the, if you can read that, 100 to 200 on about quarter. Uh, that's 9 to 18 amps with a time to 7 to 14. So if we got a, um, actually, if we're floating around, we can actually get um, uh, a time of 18 minutes if you're drawing 7 amps and 80 watts. Okay, the next thing is we could hear that in action now. If I can find the, the plug, if that's switch on first, then plug it in. Um, I've, I've got a Velcro uh, yeah. a Velcro fix this uh, battery in, that fixes in there and then we got the canopy just here we click that back on, hold everything in, get 
Yeah. There we are. See, see what that sounds like? It's half. This is half, and then I'll do full. Get a bit lower so you can actually see the thing without uh, hitting anything. This is half. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, hold on. I don't think I've switched it on. Right? Yeah, it's switched on now. Here we go. That would just, ooh, that's about half. You can feel the power of that. Now, that is only half. This is full. Here we go, full. Chop anything up, just checking everything. Everything's clear. Clear! I don't know if you can fit, hear the wind, but I could feel the wind blowing my air back and cooling me down in, in this sun. Anyway, that proves that it's got plenty of power anyway. But uh, I, I actually tested, I didn't test it, I just uh, guessing. I actually used this uh, Turnergy Precision Watt Meter and Power Analyzer. 130 amps, goes up to 130 amps. Got the source, source there and load there, which I connected in between the uh, the battery and uh, the, what's it called, the um, Turnergy Plus 40A. Uh, uh, what's it called, a uh, speed controller. Okay, I think that's about it really. The only other thing I could say is, oh, the flaps, I'd like to show you the flaps. Uh, I don't know if you can see the flaps, I probably have to go up a little bit higher. And I want to show you the flaps now, look. There you are, got the flaps working as well. There's the ailerons. I've got a dual rate, so I think it's 10 and 20. If I go, that's a 20, 20. Uh, low setting and 10. Uh, the, I can go further up, but I don't think you'll see anything much from here. I'm gonna have to zoom in a bit. By the way, that's a painting I did below of a cheetah. <laughs> anyway, this is the froze for the. That's uh, about seven, seven to ten. That's full froze is about fifteen. So you can do uh, acrobatics on this, and I think it's about. I don't know what the froze are. Twenty, twenty-five, twenty. A uh, rudder. Let's pull back again, and then. There we are, we've got the, the fun cup built up now. The next uh, thing I'll be doing will be the my first uh, test flight. Let's get this into focus. I'll be but behind that is another multiplex. That's why I, why I bought this actually, is because of the, the multiplex. Uh, that's it for all, that's it for now folks. Uh, I'll see you on the airstrip um, to do a bit of flying. My local airfield. That's all that. There you are. Flaps down to do the. I think that's. No, I don't know what it is. I'll find out for you. About 70%. Uh, 70 degrees. Okay, that's it for now.